Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 1st of July. This is 11 o'clock. Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 191 at 30,583. We did have an early sell off uh, pre market. Then, just as we were going to the opening, there was this big spike to the upside. There was an 830 spike to the upside, then a pullback. And then another big spike, and the market looked great, except you can't trust markets like this. There's just too much going on. And whoops, we start the slide to the downside. So we're down 191. The S&P is trading at this particular point. Uh, S&P is down uh, 20, and it is at uh, 37.64. It couldn't get above the nine period moving average, the pink nine period moving average here in the daily chart. I'm going to have to make some changes to this particular pattern right here because it failed to get to above 39.45 in the last week. Instead, it's down at the 37.64 level, down 21. You're looking at the QQQ, uh, down a bigger percentage than both the Dow and the S&P. is down uh, two at 278.25. Uh, it's got a pattern here that says, hmm, it, it very much needs to, by middle of next week, it needs to be trading the 295 to 297 area, at least intraday sometime to start to improve. Looking at the IWM, I never did that earlier on. IWM is weak, down 30, uh, 50 cents at 168.89. Uh, Gold, I spoke about this before. It went underneath the, uh, the left side low. It's now above it. Uh, that I'll talk about in the next hour because I will be uh, sitting in for the hour that Larry does. He's he's uh, he's uh, he's improving a lot. I believe he'll be back next week. So that a lot of you asked, uh, how's Larry doing? I believe he's getting he's already feeling quite a bit better, but he's still got that that throws a problem. So he'll be back. I'm hoping he'll be back by next week. Gold is down a uh, six at eighteen oh one. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the GDX. Most importantly, what we're looking at is the dollar has stalled a little bit. Um, at the 105 level, it's at 105.58. But that is that cup formation. I want to talk about that in terms of patterns that we always look at. I'll do that in the next hour. And it's uh, it's really acting very, very well. And crude oil is also actually holding pretty nicely when you think about it, even though it's at 171, 107.49, it's struggling to get above the nine period moving average. Bonds are doing very well. We'll talk about bonds when I do the next hour as well. I'm filling in for the time slot of Larry Pesavento. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. There's a great, there's a great uh, bargain going on this week in Tiger Dollars. Uh, people all around the world just love to get those dollars and then they can put them, put it towards any of the, uh, any of the host's uh, newsletters. I'll be back in a moment for uh, Larry's Hour at 11 o'clock, Basil Chapman, and have fun.